Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video which is a long time coming. I did a video way over a year ago which involved a lot of TV programs and I still get comments to this day telling me to watch this, telling me to watch that. And I've watched quite a lot of the shows people suggesting to me and I've watched a lot more shows in that year. If we're talking a lot more, we're talking 20 more. <laughs> Probably miss some. I would not be surprised, so check the description in case I have actually watched them and watch my last video as well before you start requesting more TV shows for me to watch because I've already watched them. But this time I'm not going to rate TV shows, I'm not going to give them a, a mark out of 10 because I got so much hate for that. <laughs> so I'm just going to talk about what I did and didn't like, I don't care if you like or didn't like them. Um, it's my own personal opinion, okay? <laughs> Everyone likes things differently. Uh, some things I really enjoy that other people don't, and some people enjoy things that I don't, and that's completely fine. I just wanted to say that at the beginning because that's all the comments I got in the last one of how I didn't like some programs and because they're so great. And I'm not dissing you for liking them, trust me. It's just my personal preference of what I like to watch and what I don't like to watch. And also I'm not gonna use the word cringy. But yeah, I'm just gonna get straight on to the video. So the first TV program I have written down and it's fresh in my mind still, is Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls was such a good program. I got so into it. It was like the first program in a long time where I fully got into a TV program. I was having dreams about Rory and Dean and Jess. And I was having proper, proper dreams where I was in Gilmore Girls. <laughs> and actually last year in LA I visited the set of Gilmore Girls but I didn't know because I didn't watch it at the time so that's really annoying. But um, <laughs> so yeah I've been to Stars Hollow. I just love the program. It's about Rory and her mum Lorelai who are the Gilmore Girls and it's about how Lorelai's parents are very rich and she's just kind of run away and had Rory at the age of 16. Obviously she's now grown up and Rory is 16 now so she She's her mum's age when she had the, had her kid and um, it's just about high school and crushes and boys and money things and she gets into huge big schools and unis and stuff and I don't know what it's about really but it's really good and I highly 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 suggest you watch it because it had me watching every single episode whenever I could like if I was having like a 10 minute break, I would watch it for 10 minutes just because I was like having withdrawal from it. Yeah, I was that obsessed with it, so. <laughs> but just watch it, okay, it's really good. The next one I have written down is Degrassi, which is what I'm currently watching right now. Um, I watched the Netflix version first and I really, really enjoyed it. <clears throat> I didn't know there was other versions, I just thought it was a Netflix thing. When I watched the first episode, I thought, oh geez, this is, no, I'm not watching this. But for some reason, I've always seen it on Twitter and stuff, so I was like, I'm just gonna carry on watching, don't really know what's gonna happen in this, but I just wanna watch, and I love it. It's about teenagers in high school. <laughs> You're gonna hear me say that a lot in the last video as well, but um, teenagers in high school with problems that every teenager comes across in their life, whether that is eating disorders or pregnancy or abortions or um, depression or bipolar or just loads and loads of stuff just shoved into a TV show and I thoroughly enjoy it. I love that stuff. I mean, I've finished college and everything now, but I love it. <laughs> I love watching that stuff. And I'm now watching the other one where it's not the first lot because that was way too old for me and I wouldn't be able to deal with the quality. Um, <laughs> so I'm watching the version with Drake in it, which is a plus because it's funny watching Drake act. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly the same, it's just a whole different group of people and the quality isn't so good. Because obviously Netflix have their own little way of quality and their quality is usually really, really good. So yeah, I recommend you watching it if you like that kind of stuff. I thoroughly enjoy it and I'm still watching it and there's so many seasons, there's like 15 and then there's four of the other one. They are 20 minute episodes, so you don't get really, really bored, but it's good. It's so dramatic, I love it. <laughs> the next one I have written down is Friends, which I recently watched as well. I know, the last person ever to recently watch Friends. <laughs> but I had a bit of like a time and I only wanted to watch things that are upbeat, which is what I've been doing ever since. I haven't really watched anything dark. Um, 
that I started off with Friends because I knew it had a lot of seasons and I knew I was just kind of staying in my room and I knew it would cheer me up in some sense. And that is exactly what Friends did. It took my mind off of things, I just got really into it. Uh, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm sure you all know what Friends is. If you do not, you're like me and hid under a rock for however long it's been out. <laughs> um, I've always heard people talking about it, but because it was so highly rated, I've always put myself off of it because I feel if I go watch something and it's been really highly rated, I won't like it because my, my, my expectations are so high that I go in and I'm like, nah, don't like it. But yeah, I really did thoroughly enjoy it after all the hype had disappeared and I was able to just like it if I liked it. And, um, my favourites are Rachel and Joey. I think they're fab. I wanted them to get together. Just saying. <laughs> but if you haven't watched Friends, watch it. Even if it is highly rated, it's highly rated for a reason. I now have RuPaul's Drag Race. I mean, I didn't really know of drag queens. That sounds really weird. <laughs> that sounds really weird to say because I very much know of drag queens now. But I never really knew about drag queens until about a year ago <laughs> and I started watching RuPaul's Drag Race expecting it to be a little bit like America's Next Top Model kind of things. I like that kind of thing and I did. I loved it. It was a tiny bit like it but it wasn't photo shoots every week. It was just so entertaining. There were so many queens I love. RuPaul is amazing and it was just so interesting to watch because there was fighting and their makeup is so different and I just find it really really entertaining. It's just really interesting. Go watch it. It's just so like wow I didn't know this even existed and now I do and it's so cool and that's exactly how I felt. I loved it. I personally loved that show. I mean, I still watch it, but only when it comes out on Netflix, because I can't find it anywhere, but um, yeah, really thoroughly enjoy it. Now, the next one I've written down is Black Mirror. Be warned with Black Mirror, it can make you very down. <laughs> That's how I found. I felt a bit weird watching Black Mirror because it's all about the future and how technology is gonna take over us all, and it's so well done. Like, it's just done in such a clever way. It's so, so, so clever. And there's like cliffhangers in every single one and there's like a twist in every single one that you don't expect to happen. It's just really interesting, but it can get you a little bit down. I found it anyway. But um, it's just so dark and mysterious and none of the episodes like can join with each other. So you don't need to watch them all in order or anything like that. It's literally a new story every episode. Some episodes are an hour and a half. Some episodes are, in, are 45 minutes. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's Netflix. And um, I just really liked it, but it did get me down. Just a warning. See, people think it's scary. It's not scary. It can just get you a bit down. It's a little bit freaky. <laughs> now, I have New Girl, which is another program I watched to make me feel happier, which it certainly did. Um, new Girl is about a girl who's new, who moves into a flat of guys. And it's just really simple, really silly, and it's exactly what I needed to watch at some point. And um, I had watched it in the past, like a few times, but now I've actually watched it, like episode to episode. I really did enjoy it. I mean, it's still going on now, but um, yeah, I just really did enjoy it. It was feel good, a little bit funny, and just really silly, which is exactly what I needed to watch. And it's exactly why I liked it. I just thought it was all very, Silly. Silly is the word I can think of. It's just one of those ones where you watch and like, this is just so dumb. But so great. <laughs> I then have Friends with Benefits, which I don't know if people are actually going to know of. It's not the film. <laughs> it's a TV program that I found on Netflix one day. I just kind of didn't have anything to watch and I decided to watch it. it only had one season, so it took me a day. <laughs> but it's about a group of friends. There's a Friends with Benefits in there. It's just about them dating different people. It's like 20 minute long episodes. It's just my kind of thing, really. I like something that's a little bit upbeat. It's not really down. It's about love, which I'm a sucker for because I'm boring. <laughs> no, I'm a sucker for love as well. So anything like that, I'm all over it. It's just, again, a feel good kind of thing. So you're watching it and you feel slightly good and your mind goes off into the actual world and you're just watching this program. I didn't get like fully attached to it or anything, mainly because there was only one season. Then I have House of Cards. Um, my boyfriend, Joey, absolutely adores this program. It's his favorite thing ever. Um, 
On the other hand, me, not so much, um, because I don't really understand politics all that much. I mean, I know the basis of it and listening to my boyfriend talk so much about politics, I'm starting to understand more. However, if you do not watch House of Cards all the time, I see the screen, you're gonna get lost. <laughs> Simple as that, you're gonna get lost. I spent one day, I think it was like one episode, I wasn't looking for like half an hour, lost. Completely lost and had to stop watching it because I had zero idea what was going on. Um, it's very intense, very, uh, it was really good, but it's just like, I couldn't get it. My brain doesn't work that much, I just couldn't get it, but it was really good and the acting is fabulous in it, the lighting and everything, is Netflix obviously, um, <laughs> but I do suggest House of Cards if you are someone who likes something a bit more intense, a little bit more like mystery I guess, and if you like something a little bit more, I'm trying to think of the word, um, manipulating I guess if you like stuff like that I definitely suggest House of Cards I mean I did enjoy it I just couldn't get it in my little head <laughs> I then have Freaks and Geeks which I'm sure again you all know of it's an old TV show that um, people like Joe Franco were in it which I think is great <laughs> and of course Seth Rogen his character I fancied a lot just saying <laughs> it's about the freaks and the geeks of school so you've got like your little geeks playing, um, oh, what's it called? Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but they always play that game with like the cards and the little wizards and stuff, that kind of thing. And then you've got your freaks, which are the ones who are smoking pot and doing stuff like that. And I just thought it was a really good show. And again, a feel good one. And of course the title card is great because it has such a good song. <laughs> So it's one that I do not skip. I skip most. I really do. Really good, really funny, and it was just, oh, I can't believe they canceled it. I'm so upset they canceled it. I expected so much more. I then have a shameless US, which everyone keeps telling me to watch. I have watched it. I couldn't get into it. That's really controversial of me to say, <laughs> uh, because I know it's such a highly loved show. And I can completely see why. I did try, I just can't get into it. It's not fast paced enough, it's not drawing me in enough. I mean, it is good and I watch episode to episode, so I have seen a few episodes more than just like a season, but it's too long for me. That sounds really weird because I can watch many, many seasons, but um, yeah, I just couldn't quite get into it. I've tried like three times to get into it and I just can't, but it is about a huge group of family. Their dad is an alcoholic and the oldest girl, Fiona, is kind of looking after her loads of brothers and sisters. There's gay romance. There's drugs. There's drinking. I don't know. There's lots of stuff in that program. It's very weird, but <laughs> my favourite character is Sheila. She's great. I then have another TV show which I'm sure you all know of, Stranger Things. Yep, Stranger Things. I watched that show in a day and I loved it. Me and my boyfriend again watched it for the whole entire day. We've never done that. We've never watched a program within a day. We just found it on Netflix. This was, wasn't when it was like a big thing. This is when it literally, I think it was like the day after it came on Netflix, we watched it and we were so obsessed. We stayed up until like 1am I think it was watching it. It was just so good. If you have not watched it and just because of this hype, watch it. I mean, <laughs> I know a hype can put you off of a TV program, but honestly it's so amazing, the kids are such good actors for the age that they are and they're such little golden, oh I want to squish them, they're really really sweet, they're really lovely kids, I mean I haven't met them, but <laughs> from Instagram and stuff like that, they're so lovely and Minnie Bobby Brown is really good looking for such a small person, I wish I was like that cool at that age. And again Netflix are amazing like lighting, amazing filming and all that. But it's just a really interesting show. I'm trying to not give anything away. It's hard to not give anything away. But my favorite part of it is, well, <laughs> well. Now I have The Get Down, which is what me and my boyfriend watched afterwards. I didn't get into The Get Down as much as he did. It's about, God, I can't even remember what it's about. I really didn't get into it that much. Um, 
but all I remember from it is Marlene. 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 It's about this, like, dancing clubs. Jaden Smith's in it. <laughs> and again, it's a Netflix series, so good lighting and everything. I like to mention that, it's good lighting. This bit of my hair is really, really bugging me. Then I have Love, which is... <laughs> oh, it is another Netflix series which is filmed at Sony Studios, I know because I've been there and I point out every single scene saying I've been there. And it is... Oh god, I watched it so long ago. It's about these two people that are very different to each other. So a guy and a girl, and they kind of meet, I'm unsure how, I can't remember, but they kind of set each other up with people and go on dates and stuff. And they just realize how different they are to each other, but kind of click really well. It's just a nice film. Really hated the ending, not a film, TV program. Really, really, really hated the ending. It made me very angry, but we'll pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll get going on one. And then I have The Crown, which I did start watching, but again, it's not my thing. <laughs> Could you believe that that kind of thing is not my thing? Yeah, it's about the queen, like our queen, that's actually still queen. It's about her and her life when she was young younger and becoming queen. You know, it's alright, if you like that kind of thing, you'll definitely enjoy it. It's amazing, like, Again, I'm gonna say it, how it's filmed. <laughs> it's amazing how it's filmed because obviously it's Netflix. But yeah, just not for me, not a program for me. I then have Lovesick, which me and my boyfriend watched together again. It was actually pretty good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's about this guy, this is gonna sound really weird. It's about this guy who gets chlamydia and he has to go back through all the people that he slept with telling them they have to get checked out because obviously he doesn't know where it's come from and whatever. And it's just really interesting because you get to see a backstory of each girl and how it happened. And um, it's just a lovely little love story thing again. And it's just silly and it's a bit funny and it's very much British humor. So if you're not very British, or get the British humour, you may not find it as funny, but I just really enjoyed it and it was nice to watch and it was only 20 minute episodes, so again, it's nothing too like major to watch. I really enjoyed it, so I suggest you go watch that. I miss it now, I want it to come back. I then have Scam, which I'm sure you're all like, yes, so am I. I really enjoyed Scam, I thought it was great. It's a show that is from, from Norway and the first season is about a girl and a guy relationship, second season is exactly the same <laughs> and the third season is about a guy and a guy relationship which you've probably all seen on Tumblr or Twitter or somewhere because everyone's obsessed with the third season. Um, my favourite season actually is the second season and um, it's just really good, you can watch it on like Google Drive or something with the English subtitles, which I really recommend you doing because it was a really, really good show. And I'm excited for season four. I even got my boyfriend into it. Okay, so my camera died annoyingly, but I've only got a few left. So I wanted to do this because my camera takes so long to charge up. So I didn't want to sit there and wait for it to charge. So I thought I'd just do it this way. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> then I have a series of unfortunate events, which I did start watching the Netflix version. I didn't like it. Um, in the first episode, they told me to stop watching it many times. So I did. <laughs> um, personally, I think Olaf, I think that's his name, shouldn't have been played by Neil Patrick Harris. Um, simply because he's meant to be a mean character and Neil Patrick Harris is not a mean guy. He's a very sweet guy. So I, for me, it just didn't work. So I couldn't watch it. It was too painful to watch. I couldn't watch it. I, it had so much potential, but I just think they've got the wrong casting maybe. But it was, it is good just if you can like get past that bit of it. <laughs> I then have How to Get Away with Murder, which I did mention in my last one. However, it's one of the only programs I'm still watching, um, like from my last TV one. It's amazing. How to Get Away with Murder is amazing. It left it on a, such a big cliffhanger and it's only just come back. Honestly, watch How to Get Away with Murder. I've got so many people into it. I've told so many people about it. I know so many people that love it to death. Just watch How to Get Away with Murder. It, it's in the title, what it's about, so. Sorry for this horrible ending of a video, but my camera does literally take forever to charge up again, so I just wanted to quickly finish it like this. Sorry, <laughs> but um, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. 
and maybe I'll do a movie one if you want me to. I've watched a few movies in my time, so if you want me to do a movie video, uh, video of this, then please let me know in the comments. And also hit the subscribe button because I upload three times a week on this channel and it would be nice to know that you want to actually watch my videos. <laughs> but for now, I hope you did enjoy this video. I'm sorry for my camera dying and hopefully I will see you again very soon.